Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Equestria at War, in which we're playing as the Kingdom of Aquelia. Now, I've already played as a Kingdom, or at least Aquelia twice, going down both times, the Republican path, and then going with the President Crew path, as well as President Gadro, but we do need to go with the President Rodir, as well as President Varani. Uh, so, this is the first episode which will be used for both of the starter episodes for the President Rodir, as well as President Varani. So, if you'd like to read about these focuses, uh, please go right ahead. I've already read them once, so if you'd like to read them, please go right ahead. In which we are currently led by King Morissette Discret. But the difference between this episode and the one I did to get to President Crew, as well as President Gaudreau, is that we are on a historical for this campaign. Or for these campaigns, really. So, if you'd like to read about Republican Toast, please go right ahead. But to liberty, my friends. To liberty, to liberty, to liberty. And, oh, let's take a look, because we have quite a few decisions that we should probably be aware of. Oh, Cold Stream Summit, not bad, not bad. Oh, well, we don't have any enough decisions yet, because we do need to finish Fight for Your Freedom. Alright, so... We want revolutionary support. So Rilla is looking pretty good. We probably want to increase their support. At uh, uh, Westkeep, it's not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. And then, Second Revolution. Oh, is it only those two that we can do stuff for? Huh, okay. Well, we could organize a bombing here. We really want to make sure the Rilla's with us. So which one is Rilla, actually? Westkeep is over here. Rilla's up here. If we get both of these and we can fight off Vinovia, as well as Pridea, that would be pretty good. A bombing? Hmm... Arm the clubs down here. As long as we get at least Rilla, I think we'll do okay. Let's go and arm the clubs. Because we love clubs. They are useful to beat people. Um, head of the state. More political power would be very good. To support the revolutionaries and pride. Let's go through the center branch first, maybe. And then go down this side. So if you like to read about the head of the state, please go right ahead. Yeah, I think it would be best to arm the clubs. We currently get 0.39 political power every single day. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and spread the word as well. And if you and here are natural spirits, memories of the republic, which is oh man, not very good for us. But as well as a legacy of cult, but we're training our navy, which is why we have no fuel right now. And we have a total of twelve divisions, not great. But if you like to read about the exiled colonel's demise, please go right ahead. As well as the appellation of d'origin, d'origin authentique. We are alas, we are robbed from punishing this traitor ourselves. As well as sancta, at an aquilian s'il vous plaît. Oh, very cool. More political power, great. Finally, I thought he'd never die. And which will go the tools of the revolution. Ooh, decrease the Republican support in those places. Ooh, that was not very good. The Rodir connection. Ooh, that is not good. 1% though. We might be able to capture him at the beginning of the war, which would be very good. We'll see what happens. But this is why we can increase our support here, regardless. And, not taking revolutionary action. If you'd like to read about the Marquis letter, please go ahead. Are we being played? Probably. In which 51% is not very good. 69 is pretty darn decent. So let's go here and support Colette. Because 51%, we prefer 100%, but we'll take at least 51%. Oh, Wing Body's having a civil war. What will this mean for that Southern Griffonia? Uh, wing Body and Liberation Movement versus the Kingdom of Wing Body. Okay, okay. Oh, that is not good. 48%. Target the monarchists. Oh, that's so not good. We're going the wrong direction, guys. We we'll gotta go back to support the re the revolutionary side, please. Rebel support always false, and that's okay. And fifty-two percent is not bad. The fire rises. We still have some time. Uh, can we get any more political power for now? It's probably a waste of political power doing it like this. Yeah, you know what? We could do that, but now we're good for now. We're just good for now. I want to increase support as much as possible, if possible. Forty. Oh no, not forty-nine percent. Look at eighty-one percent. That's eighty percent is still pretty good. Let's go ahead and spawn on the spies. Ooh. 70% chance. Oh, I don't want to hurt ourselves here. Hopefully we can get an increased more influence in at least Westkeep. But as long as we get Rilla, I'm feeling pretty good about it. If you'd like to read about the breakup of the guilds in Vizima, please go right ahead. Actually, at this point, um, whenever something like that happens, I'll just leave it on screen. And if you would like to read it, you can just go right ahead without me telling you that you can go ahead and read it. So, <clears throat> so we're in long, so we're not bad. Not bad, not bad. And ooh, Glassmakers Strike up Vizima. Very cool. 50, 50, 48, 52, uh, that's not bueno, that's not really bueno. The Vizemian Bloodbath, they all prefer to break rather than bend. Not bad. We are really struggling to get Westkeep here. Oh, it doesn't help that we're doing all this stuff. But, oh, that is really not good. Tools of the Revolution, though. It is what it is, we need the extra infantry equipment probably, so. It is what it is, my friends, it is what it is. Death of Marshal Bertelot, alright, not bad. Not bad, now we know PP. But at least we're still at 82% here, so we still have Rilla, which is good. 
Yeah, th these guys aren't strong, that strong. The four divisions up there. This group has at least seven, so that's not bad. Seven versus two, four. I mean, seven's usually going to win. And then we have Oz against Pride, and these guys, uh, that won't be too bad. All right, and we're at 41%. That is really bad, though. Wowzers. Children of the Revolution. Um, hmm. Mm, from the ashes, 50 days. Uh, these are 40 days. Uh, which one do we want? Vio, Vino Vio. The, neither of these really will help us out that much. If I remember this one doesn't do that well for us. Let's do Vino Vio first. Well, let's get some political power first because we could really, really use some political power. Because it's really just not looking good here at all, is it? No, it's not. Not Oh, 200, that's a long time. But after this one... Uh, nice. We'll come back to that a little later on. It is 1,007, so. Artillery. Ah, I don't want to help anyone else by giving them better artillery. I'll get some gun stuff, though. Defense and breakthrough is very nice. It's only 5%, but we'll take it. Civil War Alenia. Okay. I don't think I've seen this one before. Wow. So, not a line. House Jelsek versus Velvet Supporters Harmony. She looks very cozy. Velvet does. Civil War. Queen Velvet uh, is a queen. Du New Daring Dubuk. Equestria Annex of Buffalo Chiefdom. All right, all right. Ooh, demilitarized. Very cool, very cool. Grand Duchy of Fethizia. Wait, aren't these used? Reich's backed, huh? Okay. Crown of Aquilia, of course. River Republic. Declare one of the socialist River Republic. Oh, would you look at that? Wow. Caramel Haze. I want to, oh, Caramel sounds like, sounds very yummy right now. Anyways, Children of the Revolution might as well, right? And 36%. My God. Goodness, that sucks. I don't know if it's even worth supporting this anymore. That's really bad. Hmm. Since we're lowering your support anyways. I don't know, man. That's pretty bad. That's pretty darn bad. 80% is still pretty good, though. And if we keep doing this way, it's not going to be great for us, but into the Lair of the Beast. Even further decrease our support. 80% chance of capturing the king. That's probably really just worth going. Uh, well, we should do we should do relatively okay though. Still in the war, we should still relatively do okay. Yeah, that'll uh, be done in May, which is not very good. It is what it is though. Ten more days left, and technology is coming along slowly, extremely slowly. All right, let's go and do that one too. Eighty percent chance is pretty nice, but there's still a chance that we will not do well here. All right, seventy-seven is not great, but not too bad. Thirty percent. Is it even worth doing it like this? Oh, and we have this one. F Fifteen. Oh my gosh, Vinovia. That's there's also points to do it then here. And this one is still at 77, so. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. That is so bad. I feel like we're just wasting PP, but I don't think it will really matter eventually, but. Oh, there goes the Kingdom of Alenia. They killed themselves. Go figure. We need more motorized. We don't have enough military factories, just period. We're out of support equipment. We're out of guns. Man, we are out of a lot of things. A few new friends, okay. Not bad. Stoke of Fire. The Second Republic. Um, at this point, I don't think we'll get anything else, so... Just go and do that. We're going to lose political power. It is what it is, you know. Just because at... 28%! Oh, why? Oh, that sucks. But as long as we have Rilla... I mean, even if we didn't get Rilla, we'd probably still do relatively okay. If they have 10 divisions versus 5, I mean, that's pretty good. It'll be like... If you'd like to read this, please go right ahead. I should really need to stop saying stuff like that. Hmm. And we're not going to have any PP whatsoever, so it is what it is. Winter Moon Celebration. Uh, does he have... He does have a biography, so if you like to read about him, there you go. Thank you, Bunny Shrubby. Thank you very much. A few new friends. The fire rises. Okay, stoke the fire. Oh, that'd be really good. Ooh. Wait. The fire rises. Is that the Civil War? Oh. Oh, so we won't be able to get that one done. Because we took that one. Oh, man. Well, that sucks. It's alright, though. It's alright. Just in case, go ahead and put your divisions around here like this. Something like that. That's fine for now. And just in case, let's go and stop training. And go ahead and repair at home. Because these guys aren't looking too bad. They're at least regulars. Or at least trained. And we'll maybe slowly get some more fuel. Barely any fuel, though. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we'll probably not get, be able to get this one down. That sucks. That really sucks. But that's okay. Stoke the fires. The revolution is here, my friends. Long live the republic. Very cool. Ah, very good. All right, so we got a couple more divisions here to work with, which is very, very good for us. So here's what we're going to do. We're fighting these two. 
Um, illegal. Illegal. That's, well, their lives sound very illegal to us. Illegal. There you go. And you all will just kind of... Hmm. Oh, we can't do anything else. So, <clears> there <throat> you go. If you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. Nice. If that's a case, I don't know... Oh. Okay, now they went... Oh! Let's keep it to war with us as well. All right. Um, hold on. Are you guys not at war with us? Oh! Venovia went with us. Okay, that is a little unusual, but okay, sure, why not? Hopefully they stay that way. Now, these guys won't be super easy to take out. I'm going to hope that these guys can help out up there. And you guys just kind of defend the line right here, maybe? You have three divisions, so that should be good enough. And I forgot about an Air Force. The ships will do okay. We could probably import, like, an, a thing of oil or two from the county of Ad Adelert. Would be nice. Do we have a single plane? We do have a few. A few fighters. And a few tactical bombers, which we will be using tactical bombers in this campaign. So, there we go. Ah, that sucks. They did actually go to war with us. Alright then. Hmm. I mean, technically these are all separate wars, which really sucks, but whatever. The Royal Execution. Ah, very good. We do have the king, or we have the king. He's now dead. Thus unto tyrants. Nice. Very good. And before we really begin, let's go and do... Ooh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's save that guy. And Gabriel Duval, not bad. This critical spirit, which is interesting, you get better promotion costs, or a lot of more promotion costs. Quite a bit better leader experience gain. Less planning speed, though. More division speed, organization, army reassignment duration, which is not good, but whatever. Very interesting. And uh, Leonard Rodier, he's a very offensive uh, individual. Griffin. Electronics, mechanical engineering, good. Mechanized computing, very good. How about down there? If you could encircle that group, that would be quite lovely, I would say. Um, this is not going to be good for us trying to destroy enemy divisions. We just like brute forces. That'd be really nice if we could. Especially going right here. That would be quite good. I want you to hold, though. You know what, screw it. You guys go around here. I want to encircle that division and kill it off, so. Oh, well. So much for doing that. You dang dong. Head on up there. Can we just kill these guys off, maybe? Come on. We, oh, we got one at least encircled, which is good. Oh, yeah, really? You're not in the war? That sucks. Uh, actually, last time I went with, like, these two first. Let's go settle di settling di doctrinal disputes first, though. That'd be nice. Uh, instead of doing that, guys, I'd prefer you to help just destroy those two divisions first. There you go. Support weapons 1 would be very nice. Let's go ahead and grab some better artillery next. Very good, very good, very good. We lost a division. My bad. Um, just kind of hang out and hold. That's probably the biggest, the best advice I could give every, anybody here right now. We lost a tank division. It's okay. It's the only tank division we have. That's okay if things happen. Things happen. If we could win right there, that'd be very good, though. So please win right there so we can move over here. So we move over there to Pridea really quickly because I'm not even paying attention over here, apparently. It is what it is. Sure, we'll take stuff. Good. Oh, Patushenko's elected general secretary. Very good. Come on. Break them, break them, break them. You guys get down here, too. Once Pridea is gone, then these guys will fall pretty okay like. Nice. Hold. Force the attack. Force him to die. Force him. We got him. How dare you try to do bad stuff against us, you evildoers. Absolutely evil. Alright, my friends. Now we can focus on these guys. Hold and go. Defend, defend. I'm not sure what Rill is doing, but they look like they're doing a good job. Overall. Yes, yes. I lost a few divisions just because I was not careful. It's only 6,000 people. We have enough manpower for the future, right? Totally have enough. Alright, so since you guys are doing stuff up there... We go right there. We go wee! Something like that, you know. And these guys are just going to start it. You have three divisions. Oh, the Doctrine of Debate. If you like to read about that, please go ahead. Now, last time, I did go Superior Firepower, I believe. So, I think for this one, let's go with Mass Assault. Nah, Mobile Warfare. Mobile Warfare. We do want to use some tanks maybe more in this campaign. Um, I do want to rush, though, getting this one. I like this one a lot. Less supply consumption. That looks really good. You know what, we'll go with third branch of the military first, though. Let's do that one just because 
I avoided that one the last time, I believe, so that'll be okay to do now. Kill them all off. Kill them all off. And go on in, guys. Have a good time! Because if we're not having a good time, what's the point of playing, right? It's because we're studying it. Which is one of the, you know, things you could say. If you're not having a good time with it, why are you doing it? Because you're getting paid, or you're being forced to do it, you know, things like that. What am I even talking about? I don't even know. I apologize for my ramblings, or, yeah, my ramblings. I do ramble from time to time, so. But I hope you guys are having a pretty okay day. If not a good day, I am doing fairly okay myself. You get to play a pretty good mod. So, and there goes Duchy of Vinovia. Vinovia. I swear, I, I, can, I can speak English sometimes. I swear sometimes. There you go. And their rears are completely exposed. And you know what you do to exper exposed rears? <clears throat> you don't tell anyone that are exposed and take a picture. Wait, no, you just go in. Well, don't quote me on that. Hello? Would you like to die now? Would you really like to die? And I'm talking about, like, really just straight up dying, because you guys are annoying. <sighs> the revolutionary spirit is once again well and alive, my friends. Third branch of the military. For this time, you know what? I never go strategic destruction. We could try it. We could definitely try it. Hmm. Uh, we could. I don't know. I want to use bombers, though. I could try that, but I never go down that way. Operation integrity, it just makes more sense for us to go down that way for now. But it is what it is. Alright, so we got that stuff. I don't mind getting more aluminum. Do we need more aluminum right now? Not really. We're actually really good on the aluminum. 30 aluminum is pretty nice. We did get fighter ones. I didn't realize that that's really worth getting right now, so. And the enemies have been defeated. The monarchists are dead. Long live the Republic. The Fezarians return home. Travel safe. Travel safe. The triumphant revolution. Long live the Republic. Very good. Less successful a revolution. Um, I'm not sure how things are going to happen, so we'll just do the tried and true army land doctrine stuff. We're going to need more manpower, and I think we probably will go to war with these guys whenever we can relatively soon. Which is a very, very good thing. And here we have it, my friends. My apologies about that, but we can finally do the Second Republic. So, once again, there you go. And we will get the event, the Aquilian election. Now, uh, oh, we got a few more factories. Look at that. Okay, all of a sudden we got more factories, and there's a reason why we're out 2,000 pieces of artillery. Oh, we got more factories because we just straight up annexed these guys. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Actually, uh, at this point, just go ahead and do this. As you can see, I might have edited a few divisions um, off screen to the point where uh, we got to make sure that we get we do pretty darn well. Jean Lafitte. Uh, I'm not sure which one we want to do for that one, but you will go right there. Because... Okay, so the reason why we have this is because I already made our guys 40 combo with, so I'm not even going to bother to look at... Oh, that might be okay to look at, but... Uh, goodbye. Realm? Knights of the Realm is okay. I even increased these guys, but I did make 40 combo with divisions here, so... It is what it is. And you and you, and that's why we're out of manpower. I'll split in the party. There you go. If you're wondering about that. Very nice. Uh, now, down. now, once we get to the point in the campaign... Where there's new content, or at least stuff I have not covered before, I will go ahead and read all of that. So, champion of the people, there you go. Very cool. Grand Crew, we love Grand Crew. Grand Crew, crew was definitely a certainly interesting fellow. Ah, three more divisions, very nice. There you go. Uh, we probably actually want to stop making divisions then, there you go. Just because we're completely out of manpower. Holy crap, we're way out of manpower, way out of artillery. Rose of Vinovia, very cool. God draws, very nice. And also off screen, I did go ahead and grab this. The Appellation de Region Authentifé. It's just because it gives us 0 0.05 political more, more political power every single day. But it gives us more stability, more industrial research speed. Which is just, I think, overall the best one out of this. That's okay. We get that, literally, this society, Metallurgique de Orvalilo. It's, you get that with this one. With this one, you get electronics, which one this gives you industrial. But this one is actually not bad, it's just not as good. You get synthetic resources, research speed, which is pretty good, and refinery construction speed plus 5%, but it is what it is, so. It is what it is, and then Rob Oroz and Griffin causes mischief. Oh no, artists are rather special bunch. Yes, they are. And the Second Republic, my friends, it is time for the elections. Now, for this part of the campaign, obviously, as you can tell from the title, this is going to be the one where we go with the PDNA with... Ah, non-aligned support. The PDNA wins the elections. President Verane. And we can't push. Oh, we're going to need a lot of support here now. 
Oh, let's go do that one. That's fine. We can probably close out of this. This is not super important for now, so thank you, thank you. Oh, military development options. Oh, I spent all over PP. Ooh, last time I went with, I think, um, superior firepower. I think was it infantry or is it military development? I still want to use tank cell, so I will try to use. I will try to use tank emphasis in this campaign. So I'll select well, this one. Oh, creeping armored assault. It's kind of cool. Tank reliability goes up, less fuel usage and less supply usage, which is nice. Anti-air is not terrible. Oh, but that's a variant of them, which I normally don't use. Self-propelled artillery. That's not bad. Get more. We might actually use some self-propelled artillery then. Magical tanks. Looks very cool. Very nice. Okay, so for here for this one, whip the party with our stability. We lose political power. Uh, sure. Why not? And we 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 need how many? Oh, we can battle literacy immediately. Well, that's actually probably really good to do. I've already read this one before, so here we go. If you want to read about that. So for now, we need a total of, what was it, 125 down here? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And we'll get more supporters. Oh, we can go ahead and do this already. Nice. More stability and more support down the line. I think I might prefer more political power immediately first, maybe, but lost in translation. Oh, there goes Winged Body's dead. This will be our first campaign, at least in my opinion, on this channel here, that uh, anti-fascist won. Wow. Maybe we should fund more language lessons. Very cool. But let's continue doing this as well. We can spend some of that. Because we want to get as much support as possible. We got some... Well, that didn't really help us out in the war, but that's alright. But, Mobile Warfare Doctrine. Very cool. Which actually... We killed off our own tanks. We're not even doing much with them. Hmm. Anyways. I construct the monument. Yeah, let's get some more political power first. That's fine. I currently get 1.27 every single day. And then, poach the deputies. Or deputies. The PDNA is in many ways a coalition ticket and a coalition system. Composed of politicians from all over the ideological spectrum of the assembly. All dissatisfied with other political factions and rallying behind Varani's pan Grafonian ideology. With such a diverse cast backing us up, it is relatively easy to bring in support from all parts of society to boost our political acumen. Very cool. And this, that focus, and the focus will go down, quite a few of them, will be ones I've not done before, so I will go ahead and read those, so. Alright, so we did go our certain way. Can we actually grab something that gives us more political power? I love PP. The Little Fledging Dispute. Oh boy. Let's see, do we prefer the former? The latter. I prefer the latter for this campaign. Very nice. The Silent Rookbird. I think I went with this person before, but that person was still gone. Oh, the Memorial. Very nice. Very, very nice. War Industrial is pretty good. Oh, I just like getting extra political power. It's just so useful to have. A great quill ceases to write. Oh, a shame, but the art has its reasons that reason ignores. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not very good. This is probably a bad idea to do. I think I did this one before and I still lost it, so. But the hero of the Republic. Varani's image as a hero of the Republic still rings loud and true with many across Aquilia. While many call him a relic of <clears throat> a bygone age. His loyal members of the PDNA still remember his glories and his victories. Along with them, many of the FJA still remember his as the greatest spokesman of democracy and are willing to vote with him in memory of that image. Very cool. Get more stability is very nice, too. All right, let's go and do that one because we need to do that. And the Quillian National Archive. More PP? Yes, please. 1.56 is pretty darn nice. And we still get, hopefully, a little bit more support as well. So, Well, the Winged Body in Democratic Republic. Who the heck are you? Giovanni Gacchi. More political power, more... They're turning communist! Griffinstonian Griffin fighter con uh, competition. There you go, if you want to read about that. And absolutely, we get more air XP, which is very important for us. Or, which will be important for us. And Taran asks for diplomatic recognition. Yeah, we do. We do recognize them. They seek to join the Entente. And whether it, we shall. Very cool. Odin shot Hello Quill declared one of the free com communities of Longsword. Very cool. National Republic of Terran joins the Entente. You bet they join us. And if the communists, the eventual communists down here, want to take them out, then we will defend them to the last griffin. Where the nation's memories lie. So where are we going to choose? We'll choose the one that gives us the most support for not aligned. The capital will do just fine. Whip the party? Not bad. We could do that. Ooh, not aligned though. I kind of like doing this one first. A table bill though. Let's grab some more support because we're going to need more support, right? Legally abolish the monarchy sounds very good. Add mage companies are nice. Follow Sakata. The Republic. Reform the national bank. Better, more political power. Less consumer goods factors, which is good. Stability and gain more stability and military factors. Sign us up. One of the greatest issues currently facing a revolutionary republic is that of the national debt. Through the fighting and the bloodshed, we also spend massive amounts of gold and other currencies to keep our state stable. To manage this, we sh must create a financial institution with the sole purpose of lending money to the government so that we may remain solvent. It is very important. Very, very important. Jay with Skyfall, we're kind of okay. We really don't need that for now. 
And as you can see, we're pretty much ready to go to war with whoever wants to, we want to fight with. So, uh, let's grab some reinforcements. Right. Oh, it is. No, nah, no. Nope. Research speed for now. And hopefully we can get... Well, we still have mass illiteracy, which is... Oh, minus 60% research speed. Oh, that hurts. That's so painful. Oh. I'm glad we already did that one, though, which is good. So after this one, redefine the army budget. Oh, we lose political power. We get more population, though. Pop recruitable population, I should say. And more war support. I think I'm going to go ahead and first... Uh, Legally abolish the monarchy. So if you like your, like to read about that, please go right ahead. But happy 1009, my friends. It is a new year, new us, and let's keep working on getting more PP. PP is incredibly important. Yakistan is gone. Jackie Clan capitulated. And there you go. And the table bill. Up next, what are we going to grab next? I would like to go to oh, oh, water towner fighter competition. Absolutely, partial mobilization. That'll be good. Because we got to build our industry up because we'll probably have to fight the Griffonian Empire. Oh, national education effort. Nice. Well, this will be an interesting save. There you go if you'd like to read about that as well. My apologies. I kept bringing, keep saying that. Ah. Stallion grad in our town. Military training. Well, that's not terrible, but 20 more army speed is not bad. Uh, okay, then. All right. Legally abolish the monarchy, which is very good. Uh, I like this one, too, quite a bit. The table build. Bon appetit, monsieurs les députés. Give them an allowance and be done with it. They will eat what they get in their plates. Reduce the cooldown of all political decisions by 20 days. That's not a line. We kind of have to go and not a line, so... Yeah, it is what it is. But, redefine the army budget. Theodore Alvarani has big plans for where Aquilia will go from here. He is a pan-Griffonian through and through and believes strongly in going forth to spread a revolution across all of Griffonia. And to do that, he believes we must expand the army. The bill will be long, but we have the instruments of state, like our new bank, to lighten the load. Nice. Act of abolition, very cool. Long live the Republic as well. And we have this. Banquet National de Aquile. Very good. Alright, not bad. We're going to definitely need to mobilize more, because we are completely out, which is completely not good. I don't want to mobilize, but if we have to. So after that, we will do this one. Major companies, and get another research slot would be good. Wing Bardian, Democratic Republic, join the Prywin Republic. Ah. I wonder if they change the colors again once they flip communist. Um, no, they are technically communist already, so. Underground partisans. Weak mafia. Education reform. Dictatorship of the proletariat. Modern warfare. Rebuilding the nation. Artillery supremacy, as well as economic crisis. There you go. And we can go ahead and whip the party a little bit more like that. Wow, we have 157. Harmony supports have quite a few guys. But declaration de exception at destroits civils de ponies. There you go. Mage companies. Oh no, we don't have enough deputies. God dang it. Uh, give us a few more days and then we should have enough. There you go. Now we do. But now we gotta whip up some people here, work with these guys. Um, sure. Why not? Because next, to do this one, we need 200 deputies. So that's going to take a while, but let's go ahead and grab this one. Oh, we still need 200 for this one, too. Oh, boy, that's not good. That is quite not good. Work with the people. Work with everyone here, especially the supremacists, because... Oh, no, we have 200 now. That's not bad. Fall of service. Very good, very good, very good. And we still get 1.3 every single day, so that's pretty good. Push them. Mm, we could. Work with these guys, economies. So be it. Because Varani... Actually, I will read this one, though. Biography of Theodore Varani. Loved and hated, viewed with awe, fear, disgust, and plain hatred throughout Aquilia and beyond, Theodore Varani would have no other way. Known across the land as the de facto leader of the first Aquilian Revolution, Varani is likely the most famous individual in Aquilia, uh, or Aquilia, yeah, besides the king himself. An absolutely magnetic personality, Varani was gone and his whole life attracting to others, to his words, a message. A child to a newspaper distributor in the capital, Varani quickly learned his way around words from his father and furthered his study by learning about rhetoric and philosophy in school from the first time he spoke to a crowd in his youth to, to petition for a longer recess. He had a sparkle in his eye and an inspirational spark that caused others to follow him, and he would put it to world sundering use. No one is quite sure what got Varani into Republican thought. The Griff himself admits he isn't quite sure either, but once he did, he immersed himself fully in the world of underground Republicanism, joining all the groups he could to prepare for the day when the Imperials would be thrown out. But then, in 978, a griffin named Kamerskai beat him to the punch, throwing the emperor out of his own capital. Triggering his planned uprising, Varani assumed command of the Republican cells throughout Aquila and got to work. Though this didn't work, or didn't this? Though this work didn't last very long, 
ex exited from his own land, or exiled from his own land, Varani lost a spark in his eye for the first and last time since then. He has loved and lost and loved again, but he's never forgotten about his homeland. And now he has returned triumphant, ready to lead Aquilia, Aquilia into a new pan Griffonian dawn. Nice. Very nice. And then we'll grab this one next, because we do have the, the deputies. Scandinavia, to go around the northern tribes. Oh, boy. At least we're mobilizing. That's good. Even though we're almost done mobilizing as well. Oh, man. We need so much manpower. Hopefully, when we can take out the, the enemies and core their stuff, that would be really, really good for us. And we've got mage companies, too. Nice. We're not even making divisions now. It's so bad. We need quite a bit of artillery, but guns are looking pretty good, even though we only have one thing on guns. That's all right for now. And poach deputies. Uh, let's see that one. There you go. We have 230, which is nice. After this one, though, we will do Reclaim the Periphery, so you can read that as well, if you want to. And a comment cited, there you go. Boreas, protect us, my friends. Boreas, protect us. And I did see we have some extra ships here, too. Ah, uh, just merge all the fleets. Literacy rates roar. That is nice, nice, nice. Oh, the places you'll go. Nice. More construction speed. Oh, we actually, oh, we had some manpower. Nice, and reclaim the periphery. Oh, I can't wait to beat up our enemies. I can't wait. Land auction's coming along. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time still. Let's grab some of this. Better infantry equipment is always welcome here. Always. If you need to continue training, that's fine with us. Even though we still need more army XP. Hmm. Right, so, wow, you guys are... Th okay, that's not very good. I'll be honest, that's not very good. Uh, that's not very okay as well. Uh, remove, remove, and then you gotta add some of that, and then that... That'll be good. Mm, since we're here, go and do that too. There you go. And uh, there you go. And then... Uh, Alright, that's all we can add for now. Uh, we're getting quite a bit of army XP every single day, so... There you go. Nice. 20 combat width. Not bad. But it'll work for now. Delay is very good as well. Work with the, these guys. Why not? Oh, and is this one we do need next. Elastic defense is very awesome. Oh. All sad. All right, wing body and liberation front. Thank you very much. We'll just take one for now. And we're still training, which is nice. Refugee crisis. Oh. Um, I'm not sure if I read this one before. But what started as a small stream of refugees has quickly turned into a flood. Thousands upon thousands of Aquilian settlers and Terranian collaborators are fleeing to the Second Aquilian Republic, carrying what they can with them. Many of them lack food or water, or either are sickly or injured. Long wagons... Long wagon caravans clog up the roads, making it difficult to supply our military forces. Refugees are reporting about atrocities committing about Tarinians, as well as forced expulsions and seizure of property. Some of the Tarinians were treated even worse than the foreign settlers, being regarded as heinous traitors. Now the government has to, has to do what it can to take care of these homeless, desperate refugees, straining its resources, and distracting from any military efforts. Flint are nothing but terrorists. Whoa, what is that? So bad. Holy crud, that's really not good. Do we have any other options to deal with these guys? Foreign policy at all? No. Propaganda efforts? Political actions? No. Hmm. What is going on down here? They want to... Oh. They joined us, but they want supremacist. Expel the foreigners. New border conflicts? Balefire air? Balefire. That's some Balefire Blues. I need to get back to the mod. Huh. Reclaim the periphery, which is nice. And then we'll go ahead and do the dream is a deb. We cannot give up on the great dream of pan-Griffonianism. If the revolution only exists in Aquilia, then inevitably the other monarchies of the land will see us as a threat and come to snuff us out once and for all. It is our sacred duty as a republic that successfully casts off the chains of bondage that once held us to go beyond our borders and free the rest of Griffonia. Bypass the National Assembly and complete one political national focus without having to acquire the support of the appropriate among deputies. Nice. All right, so let's, let's make sure I do this as well. I want to make sure we get... We have local autonomy still for now, which is good, but still. Alright, so you guys stop training. And we can probably just go straight on in. I really don't think they'll be able to do too much against us. There you go. Not bad. We've lost 25 ponies or griffins to 11,000. 15,000. Nice. Alright, up next, who can we take out? We still have no manpower, though, which is very not good. Griffonian free territory, huh? Probably shouldn't do this when we have no manpower. So probably want to raise our conscription level up a little bit more as well. Three. Two. One. Let's go. 
There we go. Not bad. Uh, you guys can come in if you really want to. That's fine with me. Get some more arm XP. If we struggle a little bit, that's okay as well. The dream isn't dead. Arme Republican expansion plan. Less political power. Large military spending is good. Military industrial complex. Will alienate more people, more, more political power. I like f factories. Cooperation with the large industrial conglomerates of Aquilia will allow us to stockpile enough war materials for the coming conflict. Using loans and shares from the National Bank, we'll be able to bankroll a far larger military than before, always ready to defend republicanism wherever it is threatened. And eventually that army will pay back the debt with a visit to Griffenheim itself. Nice. Very good. Very, very, very good. Oh, a little bit more manpower. Look at that. Oh, we're done mobilizing. Referee communes. Good, good, good. The dream isn't dead, and we'll go into this one. Nice. Let's go raise the description level again, then. There you go. You should be able to do that pretty nicely. And they are dead. I love taking enemies out. Right, let's just make sure that we're still doing that. That is good. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. That's good, 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 good. Next up, I'll... Adelart and Camino of Fluina. Nice. Get some more planning. We want lots and lots of planning. Computing machines, very nice. Let's grab some cryptology as well. Four research slots, so much better than three. So much better. Vadina is gone as well, and we shall go right on in. Foreign pink licenses? Oh, do they? Have, oh, they barely have any divisions. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, this is a glitch. We can't even see that now. Oh, that sucks. And we will have them very soon. Those knights cannot stand up to us at one little bit. Thank you very much. And there we go. Fall of Griffinheim. Oh, wait. Wait. Whoa. Maybe they'll actually do well. Uh, integrate the periphery. Very good. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Not bad. Not bad at all. There we go. I know we, I remember we had to do that. Uh, we're kind of okay for now, guys. Whip the party. Uh, sure. Instead of stability. Instead of political power, we can use stability. Uh, can I go to War Florina? Oh, god dang it. We, we gotta do it like this. What is it? Trade, diplomacy, diplomacy. And, wait. Is it communes of Florina? Ah, it is. And they are going to hopefully die very soon. Eh, four divisions there. Gaston Brianchot. And they should die. Elercy rates at an all-time low. There you go. You can have as many weeks as you need. Nice. We can even get political power with limited illiteracy. And 15% more research speed. Pretty good. Alright. So it's 10.09. It's almost 10.10. We're really close. But we do need some radio as well. There you go. Not bad. Four divisions. Hopefully we'll die soon. And they are almost gone. Wait. Novagriff. What's going on here? Non aligned. Huh. Alright. And the commune is gone. We're looking pretty darn good, I do say so myself. And train if you need to. Alright. Poach deputies. Uh, we'll work with the commies for now. We're going to need more support anyway, so. Oh, and can you do this one too? Military development. How much does this cost? Creeping armor assault. What does that do actually? Let's take a look. Creeping armor. Oh wait, do we, can we see where that where that is? Creeping armor assault. Armor assault. Is that under a land auction maybe? Um, I'm not sure where that is. is it, I thought it'd be under Griffin Tech, but maybe not. It's a tactic, so maybe that's really really good. I can't really tell, so. 1009, uh, might as well. It's still not ahead of time, which is good. How's our artillery doing? Not terrible. We need some more anti air force. Integrate the periphery is very good. The Quillians march. You bet we march. Next up, the Master of Terran. Demand Terran. Uh, yeah, we, we want to rush down this site, so the Master of Terran, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Nice. Followed up with what? 270 is not bad. Let's work with those guys as well. And PD and, and, and A on the rise. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. That's pretty good. How are we doing? We're building more civvies and millies, so that's pretty nice. So up next, we're probably going to go with the liberation of Loin Tainu. So there you go as well. And we'll go to war with House of Avian, Eri, 
which would be very, very good. And we don't lose the support when we do take them out. So, and equalize the languages, compliance growth speed. That'd be actually very good to grab. So, that'll be next. Oh, do we have this? Yes, we do. Push the pitas work. Yes, look at them. Very good. Uh, citizenship. Ooh, more political power, though. That's pretty good. I want to equalize the languages so we can maximize the compliance growth speed. The effort by the Assemblée to equalize all Griffonian languages in the eyes of the Quillian government is seen by all as a massive step towards fully embracing pan-Griffonian identity. It sets up Aquilia as a leader in international efforts for republicanism, while also setting it on a co collision course with the imperial government, as there is no way they can pretend Varani lacks ambition any longer. Which is very, very good, of course. We, get, we even get more stability, which is good. Intelligence gained from operatives and infiltrated areas, plus 10%. I do say that. It is quite a good thing. All right. A leader populace. There we go. President LaCroix. President LaCroix. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Uh-oh. Someone's going to have a little bit of a war soon. Liberation. We love liberation. But alienate a few people, but that is okay with us. We have no fuel, but that is, like I said, okay with us. If we move fast enough, they won't really matter at all. So, what else do we have here? Military pioneer? No. Hmm. That is still very good to get. Jean Le Volier? Everything else here is okay. This is not bad either. We'll probably go with that one too, but... Yeah. Actually, that's a... 100% same ideology monthly opinion. 10% more war support. Let's go with this one. That's very good. Since we're here, just going to this once. Um, Lost you what? If you think that's a good name, please let me know in the comments below. Just because you know, we could do we could continue that one. But we've already done that one twice. Everything you can come up with a better name for our non-aligned run here, leave it in the comments below. Maybe we'll use it. Let's see, get some more output too. Thank you. We could go to war with these guys too, but Lady Katrina Avian? Let's take these guys out first. Actually, are you a puppet of anybody else? No, you're actually completely independent. Alright. Interesting. Which I don't believe they should be, but it's okay. The revolutionary Cree are the Scandinavian peoples. Socialist Republic, censor the book, or it doesn't matter. We're going to censor the book. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll censor it first. Because we can wait, save on this stuff for now. Three, two, I don't want to count down. Numbers are hard. And we go literally just straight on in. It's a still glitch. Gosh darn it. And this is we've got the equipment, which is probably the most important thing from, getting, from fighting these guys. All right, not bad. Actually, how's the equipment looking right now? We got plenty of guns. We're almost out of our deficit of artillery as well, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Go and do that too. Ma maximize that as fast as possible. And there you go. Equalize the language. The Griffonian Citizenship Act. Why not? The Assembly has drafted a controversial provision that massively eases the requirements to get a Quillian citizenship to any Republican dissidents who enter our borders. While masquerading as a way to attract intellectuals from abroad, in reality we are building networks, making contacts, and sharing information from abroad. When there are Republicans everywhere, the Imperials have nowhere to hide. And we could go anywhere else. We get more daily political power that way too. We will need to get more support here too. So let's do that one. Hurts our stability, but whatever. It's worth it in the end. Uh, look at that equipment. And since we're here, let's go and grab some engine accessibility enhancements. Tank reliability, nice fuel usage. We, we do need to get more tanks. Um, I do this industry though. Like we gotta build up our industry before we can do too much else. And I want to make sure that this stuff is all okay as well. Then we're also going to start focusing a little bit more on tanks. That's going to be super important. So let's go ahead and work with these guys. Yeah, let's go and try it. Work with those guys. That's fine with me. Fine, 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 fine. Ah, oh, more military factories. Good. What do we need? Guns are more than fine. It's motorized and anti-air. Uh, we'll throw on four. And throw on three. And then we can get Georges, Rain, Nath Nath Nathalie, Nathalie. Hmm. Doesn't probably... Eh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Natalie. Let's go with Natalie. I always like girls with the name Natalie. I don't know that many with the name Natalie. Hmm. It is what it is. Cool. And then we'll do the father of the revolution, probably. But let's get a little bit more support first, because we're going to alienate a few more people. Oh, but there's these guns. So that, these guys actually did win. Huh. Um, like, oh, we could alienate more people. But I don't want to hurt our... Uh, Daily political power, but it's now time for Varani to step into the role that was already made for him. He's not just a hero of both revolutions, but he is also their ideological father. It was his ideas that propelled our nation to what it is today, his influence creating the Aquilia its citizens know, now know, and his, the father cared for his children. Now to shall the children support their father in his great mission. Alright, so we don't have enough support yet. We were close, but we can't quite do that one yet. Let's work with them. And that's alright, because now, let's go ahead and do this one, because 
we need to do this one and remove the legacy culprit and get more political power which is going to be extremely important anyway so all right we actually have some manpower look at that mystic fashion yes all right 40s uh, mage companies is that really worth it you got a little more defense though which is nice it's not really that great though uh, doesn't re require that much equipment there you go why not Yeah, we're going to need way more divisions where we're headed. We're still mobilizing. We are, which is good. The Great War has happened. Nice. Changing Queendom to declare war in Equestria. Good luck, Changeling lands. Good luck. I right, just going to start fighting the Catherine Principality. All right. And we'll do that. And actually, can we send some volunteers? That'd be kind of nice if we could actually send some volunteers. Yes, we can. All right. So, actually, how many can we send before we even take out anybody here? Two, which is not very much, I'll be honest. Catherine Brig, you'll probably die before the volunteers even get over there, but it's worth the struggle. It's worth the risk. Sixty-eight. Come on, we need more support here. More supporters, please. So after that, we'll probably go with a lot of stuff up here first. As much as I'd love to do that one, I do want to finish this one first to get more daily political power first. Oh, they actually made it. Look at that. Um, alienate a lot of people. Presidential executive decisions. That's kind of nice. All right, let's go over here, then. Oh, you got so many more things here. He's a scientist. I like that one. All right, you guys need to get boosted and have leaders. Having leaders is probably pretty important. Uh, you're actually better. Beja is better on defense. And with this one, we will go with Gilbert Lafavette. Lafavette. Um, I'm not really sure. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, that's always worth doing. I suppose. Catcher and Berg will be good to defend. There you go. go on up and try to do your best. Uh, just go and hold. My main goal is just to hold the capitals and the cities for now. Just hopefully don't die, you know, along the way doing stuff, so. Finish corporate reforms is very good. Can we get any more reforms here? Yes, yes, yes. Work with these guys. That would be very, very good. Uh, yeah, I want to wait for this one. I like the population, don't get me wrong, but we got things to do. The city reborn? Very nice. Rebirth of Aquila. This campaign will go faster than the other times I've played this mod already, or this campaign technically, just because, as you can tell, I'm not reading a lot of the events, so, which speed things up quite a bit. So, uh, what do we have here? Uh, War economy would be nice. I'd like to do the service by requirement eventually. Uh, what do we have? Anything else? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Political actions. We could use more war support. Getting our own fuel would be very good as well. Just go get our own fuel and rubber first. If you go in there, you could probably defend really well. They'll take Katerinburg, so we don't hopefully lose their divisions. Because if we do, that's really, really bad. And did they die? Well, we just got encircled. God dang it. Hold and force defense. Hopefully these divisions won't die if we do that, so we can take the capital. So, yeah, we came in too late. My bad. Oh, well. Tanks, 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 tanks. Elastic defense is good, and we'll grab mobile infantry, because that's usually just so much better to do than the other stuff. Come on, take the capital! <laughs> I want to at least keep one of these divisions here. Oh my god, you're literally just going to try to kill off my own division here. You're taking everything but that capital. All points are united. Okay, woo! We lost one division, which is really, really bad. My apologies, but it is what it is. And... Alright, let's do that and work with these guys. Followed up with what? Probably the supremacist? A city reborn. There you go. Magnifique. Awesome. And, ooh, yes. More daily political power gain plus 5%. Nice. Pointing power is very good to get. 3, 2, Uno. And with the party put these could work with them. Work, work, work. And then the father of the revolution. There's no time for Varani to step into the role that was already made for him. He's not just a hero of both revolutions, but also their ideological father. I think I already read this one. My bad. It was always his ideas that propelled our nation to what is it today. His influence creating Aquilia, its own citizens no, now know. And as the father cared for his children, now shall the children support their father in this great mission. I apologize. Apparently my mind is just slipping, so. I read that twice. My mind is just gone, as you can tell. Whee! Construction. Pretty good. Let's come back over here and grab this. No. 
Uh, I want more factory output. That'd be good to get. That'd be pretty good to get, actually. And put these guys. Yeah, go and do that. Oh, actually, that's, that was a, that was a waste of stability. Eh, whatever. All right, so what are we building now? Roads are nice and all. Don't get me wrong. I love roads. We're going to need more of this stuff. The Yale Rectorate. All right. We're going to need more of that. We got plenty of motorized. We're going to need way more guns, too, to make a lot more divisions, so. Mm. There goes those guys. Up next, infantry. I, didn't think, I think I did that one last time. Breakthrough's not bad. Ooh, the Republican Pact. Ooh, we're better off on our own. We cannot join them, but we appreciate their help. We will join them in their pact. Ooh. Do I do this? I'm not really sure. Should I do this or not? Lend us a claw, or if they attack, we would be obliged to aid them in turn. Well, they're in the Republican Pact. We're in the Entente. But when I do the Supremacy Shroud, they won't do anything here. Are they actually going to go to war with these guys? Ye next. Camera Sky is already here. Doing okay. We will go to war immediately in the next episode if we should do this. Um, hmm. You know what? Like I did in the first episode when I actually played this, or the second episode, something like that. Oh, the second episode. Should we do this pact? Should we join the Republic in the struggle and abandon our own Entente factions? Should we not join them but give them a guarantee, you know, a mutual guarantee to defense? Or we'll just say better off on our own? I'll leave that up to you guys, my friends. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow when we will continue expanding and making Aquilia, or the Aquilian Republic, ever stronger. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.